Hi guys, I am Thorin from the Mosaki Labs and today we are going to be looking at how we can model out this particular Wobble Pavilion using simple functions like Contour, Suite 2 and Surface Drop Network of Curves. So let's get started. So the first step that we are going to do is go to our Rhino file and bring in the picture plane which has at least a plan and elevation to help us with creating this particular example. I'm going to bring it into my top view so I can outline the plan. So the first step is use your interpolate curves and define the outline for your particular structure. We can start from the top here. So we have one side of it. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide this element the picture that we have and I'm going to use this and create a mirror. Now we have our top surface defined. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select this and I'm going to move it up a certain distance. Once I'm satisfied with how high it's placed, the next thing that I'm going to do is define the curvature for this. How I'm going to do that is I'm going to use interpolate curves to define multiple curves within this to give it that shape. So if we type in show, we can see in our front elevation how we need the curvature to go. So you can see that our curvature is looking something like that, right? So what happens is we start off with a point at the bottom, then it goes up and then it comes back down. And if you look at it, you uh, if you look at another viewport, you see that there is a dip here for the joining of this particular part. So that's how we're going to create our surface. So, so once you've understood this, we can hide it back. So ideally, if I need to see this uh, particular function happen properly, what I can do is I can change my viewport. Yeah. So now I'm just going to define the particular curve. So you can see that we have that inside dip here and then it pretty much just flattens up there. So we've got going along the right path and if you need to make any edits just use your control points. Now I'm going to do is I'm going to create a few curves on the second direction. And now using our control points just give it the definition. So for this particular example, you can see that there is a slight upward curve and then it goes down and then it comes back up and then it comes down. So to make that, just add a few control points and we can do it. So we have our multiple lines defining this. So you can see these are all your curves defining this. So we have our set of curves. So you can use the surface and multiple curves to get the surface. So we have our first surface ready. Now I'm going to do is I'm just going to select all of this and hide it. I'm going to bring back my image so that I can create my bottom surface. Once we've done this, the next thing that we can do is the same process. So, some curves. Some small issue maybe in the selection at this point. And we have a surface ready. Now, the next step that we need to do is bring back our top surface. We can hide this image for now. We need to get the side profile and maybe adjust the height because I feel like it's a bit too high right now. For this, what you're going to do is we're just going to hide the two surfaces we have created so we can see the curves that we have properly. So now I'm going to use similar interpolate curves to define the two edges.
Now we're just going to use a sweep tool. For that, we need to define the relay that we have. So let's select these two, join them. Select these two, join them. Split these two curves. Cutting objects is this. So now we have our two rails. Now sweep two. See we have a side elements as well. So we have these elements. Now the next thing that we need to do is to define our central piece. We just need to define this particular element. That can be done using simple functions. So the first step is create a circle. Bring that to the center. Now project this particular element onto our surface. Okay, so now we have our various elements there and what we can do is we can trim the excess elements. So we have the openings for that particular curve and now all that we need to do is to find the particular curve that we need. So again, go back to interpolate curve. Now we can use our sweep two again. First rail, second rail, two cross sections, go sweep, enter. And we have the central detail as well. Now deselection goes in your selection filter, select your surface and join them. So once you do that, you have a single surface. Now what you're going to do is go to your plan and use your contour. Object to contour this, press enter. Define this, find the distance, get your first set. Move that to the side by about 25 and put that in a different layer. Curve set one. Now we have the various elements here defined, defined by that element. Now the next thing is create a second set of contours. This is going to be for vertical elements, so move that as well by 25 and you can put that into a new layer, curve set 2. So you can see we have our base curves for the particular example. Now all we need to do is give it its definition. So we'll hide one set of curves now. Now we need to create surfaces out of this. For that what we're going to do is we'll use the ribbon function. So we have our first set of surfaces created and we're going to hide this, bring back the other set 
and repeat functions for this. So now what you're going to do is select these surfaces, put them back into the same group so that we have the same color. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all my surfaces and view border. So I get the outline and I'm going to move this by 25. And I'm going to now ensure that I have a curved edge, right? Because right now what we have are flat edges. For example, you can see that we have curved edges. So to get that, I'm going to do this fillet corner. Give a particular radius. edges now and similarly I'm going to select the surfaces tube border fillet corners again Five. Now we need to get a surface out of this, so surface from plane curves. Similarly with this set. Let's define certain thickness for this. You can do compound extrusion or normal extrusion, however you see fit. Once you have your elements defined, we move this by 25. This it over one another. So you go to your render viewport. Hide your curves. You can see we have our surface done. So now you can see how we can use our simple functions like sweep to surface on network of curves and contours to get a waffle structure that we need. Thanks for checking out this video. So like, subscribe and comment on our videos and check out uh, Lomos Enterprises YouTube channel for more videos like this with different softwares. And I'll see you guys in the next video.